One, two, three, I see red and blue lights leak through my windows. I hear huge pops and screams and it's no 4th of July. No celebration, just tears and small coffins. And across the streets, bad mouth youth use words to hurt, which can transitions into physical abuse. While some kids run out of bathrooms with smoke attached to their shirts, wearing it like some cheap perfume. Whoa! Patterns of needles scattered on floors. My seventh, seventh year of school, and I wasn't surprised. I wasn't surprised when the police and immigration knocked on strangers' doors to drag hard-working people to the other side. My undocumented family, not considering that their family is behind. My mind has been crowded with dis such discriminating lines that have been the end of jokes and the start of fights. My lungs remind me to breathe while my heart bumps me and gives me strength to stay away, to stay clear of trembling arms that would threaten my very existence. I am in my own past, present, and hopefully future. Hopefully future, I am aware of the steps that I have taken and I'm contemplating the ones that have yet to make their marks on these cracked crack pavements and one, two, Three, the street lights flicker on, barely shining lights on these fools with colors that hang outside and throw up signs like, man, we live in this neighborhood too. And we hang our heads do the best we can by our mother's eyes, not to get swallowed up by gang life. I've seen friends drown in pools of blood, anger, and stupidity. I never end up seeing them the next day. And in the end, some mothers just can't open their eyes because they're so clouded with ocean veins that run deep in the night, that water the flowers by our dear Guadalupe's feet. And three, two, one, I shut my eyes and pretend I'm blind, floating over blurred images. And just for a moment, for a small fraction of a second, that everything will be all right.